If you've been curious about the Evans hydraulic heads, you're going to want to watch this video. If you've been curious about these heads and you got cheap drums, you definitely want to watch this video. So if you're not already following me on Instagram and Facebook, make sure you do that before you do anything else important. For those that do, you may have seen a recent post where I was reskinning my cheap little rehearsal kit. This is the one that I use for rehearsals and small stage situations. I had a show coming up with one of my favorite artists to play with, a guy named Jacob Moon out here. Shout out to Jacob. And I was gonna use these drums because the stage was pretty tight. So because I haven't pulled this kit out in a bit, I decided that I wanted to swap all of the heads out. So I decided to go with the Evans Hydraulic on the top and on the bottom I got a set of Rezo 7s. And I also decided to try um, an Evans Hydraulic on the kick because I was just curious, never heard it before. And if you're gonna get hydraulics, might as well get the red ones. So this is my Yamaha gig maker. I paid 200 bucks for these shells. It's a 10, 12, 14 with 20 inch bass drum. Didn't need any of the hardware. So that's why it was so cheap. I have no emotional attachment to these drums whatsoever. I could throw these things off the back of a speeding Dodge Ram, wouldn't bother me. So when I made that post about reskinning this kit, I did see a few comments about wanting to hear the heads, which makes sense, right? If I'm gonna do that, just makes sense to review them. It's my first set of hydraulics. So I did fully intend after the gig to bring it home, stick it under some mics, and just review these heads for whoever was interested. But I wanted to do it, just to prove a point, I wanted to do it on the cheapest kit possible. Because I don't want nobody out there saying, you know, if I threw them on the Phoenix, they'll be like, yeah, of course they sound good, they're on the Phoenix kit. All y'all can shut up, because this ain't what that is. I'm putting these on my super cheap kit so you can hear what they sound like. So the reason why I decided to go with the hydraulics on this kit this time around is because of this, the type of situations that I would normally take this kit out for, which is smaller rooms, smaller stages, situations where volume might be an issue in the room, and typically situations where the drums would be unmiked. Now the room that we recently played in, it was a bit of a smaller room. The stage was fairly tight. But um, the room was recently renovated and it was, I guess, more acoustically treated for uh, live band performance. So the room actually sounded really good. And in this particular case, the drums were actually fully mic'd. 
So the hydraulic is a two-ply drum head. It's two plies of seven mil skin, and it's got drops of oil between the two plies. It's one of the thickest drum heads that they make. I think it's their third thickest behind the Evans Onyx and the, um, the Black Chrome. Those two are slightly thicker. But these are what I would consider perfect as far as thickness goes. Super big, nice, fat, punchy sound that you get out of these. The sustain is really short and they're super durable. Now the thing that I typically like about thick heads like this is that they require zero muffling. So you're not gonna see any tape or gels or anything on these, it's just not necessary. These things are made to be easily controllable. All you gotta do is plop them on, they tune up in a snap, and you can start playing them right away. Now depending on the drum head that you're coming from before you switch to these, let me give you a heads up. You might dig these and you might not, all right? I'm used to playing the UV-1s on my Phoenix kit. That's just a single ply, 10 mil skin. These are a lot thicker. So the first thing that I noticed is that the feedback that I get from these heads is wildly different than the ones that I get from the UV-1s. Because with those, you know, I can get, I can just play normally and get all kinds of volume out of these heads. With these, it feels like I have to hit them harder to get the same volume out of them. Just because they're so, you know, they're thicker and they're much more controlled um, and the sustain is a lot shorter. But at the same time, for me, that's what makes these things perfect for lower volume situations. Um, so I don't have to smash these things. I can just play them normally and they will naturally be a little bit quieter than uh, like a UV-1 or a UV-2. The bass drum head is the exact same recipe as the tom heads. So it's essentially, it's just a giant tom head on your bass drum. But I became a big fan of the kick head as soon as I put it on there and tuned it up. This thing sounds really, really good, especially with a mic on it. But it's just nice and thick and fat and punchy. And um, yeah, no muffling required whatsoever. So if you're the type that likes to play your bass drum, like me, relatively empty, this is one to get. I would suggest you pick one of these up just to try it out. So I'll leave links in the description box for those that are interested in trying out the hydraulics. I'm a Sweetwater affiliate, and I'm also affiliated with Tommen.de in Europe. So, um, so I will leave shop links for you to click on if you wanna go and check some of these out. The hydraulics come in four different colors, red, blue, what they call glass, which is clear, and black. It's the exact same head, it's really just aesthetics. But the takeaway that I really wanted to put across with this video is that if you're thinking that you need to spend a ton of dough on a good set of drums to gig with, you don't. Like I said, I paid 200 bucks for this kit and you've heard it. Drums for the most part are just boom and bap. That's it, kick and snare. If your kick sounds good and your snare sounds good, your kit sounds good. If you're just schlepping your drums from stage to stage, you don't have to spend a ton of dough, man. Drums will sound good if you know how to tune them and you know how to hit them. You can get any cheap drum kit to sound expensive with good heads on them, tune them up real nice. Once you get the mics on them, 10 feet away, you can't tell the difference. When it comes to your jobbing kit, invest your money in a really good snare and a really good set of cymbals, and the rest is gravy. Thanks for watching this video. If you're digging this channel and you feel like supporting it, one of the coolest ways to do it is to grab yourself a piece of merch. Right now I'm rocking one of the new bomber jackets. Link will be in the description box. That'll take you over to the shop. I don't know if you heard, but I got some of the coolest drum merch in the game. T-shirts, snapbacks, hoodies, jackets, accessories. It's all over there. Pick up two or three pieces. I would highly appreciate it. Drop a comment below if you got one. Share this video if you dig it. Like. Subscribe. See you next video.